Hello everyone and welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to draw or paint on your footage. And you've probably seen someone where they go, they score a basket in the hoop and everything and kind of lines pop out showing on Discord. Or someone throws a football or something like that across the field or anything and kind of a line goes around it, right? Well, that's called drawing or painting on your footage. And today we're going to learn how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve. I went this morning and I filmed uh, a couple of videos of my bike rolling. So that way we could have something to kind of have draw lines drawing around and everything. Something new for me to film and everything. Um, so what we're first going to want to do, since you don't want to ruin your actual original footage, in case you want to color grade it or do something else to it, we're going to go up here and grab this adjustment clip, and then you're just going to shove that right on top and click another video track up here. We're going to go ahead and crop that down. Now, go ahead and click on your adjustment clip right there, right? So it has a little bit of highlight around it, and go down to your fusion tab, the little magic wand with all the stars and everything. This is where we do our masking. You can check the video up there for... Uh, how to mask your footage in DaVinci Resolve. And this is where we're also going to do our painting at. We're going to go up here and hit Paint. And that's going to give us a little thing called Paint 1. We're going to go ahead and move these bars down. Uh, that way we get more real estate up here with our video. Over here on the right side of your screen, you're going to find some controls for your paintbrush. The main thing we're going to be using is the coloring tool, and if you need to, you can use the erase tool as well. Up here is kind of your brush shape. Uh, we're going to be using just the soft one for now, and then you have size, softness. Uh, down here is your coloring stuff, so you can go ahead and change the color of your of your stroke and everything. We're just going to leave it with white, because white's kind of really simple and easy stands out, um, and stuff like that. Now we are going to leave our size kind of big, just that way you can see it on the final video and everything. If you get too small, it's kind of hard to notice, especially for like a tutorial. Um, the stroke duration down here, uh, you can actually have it to where these, your drawing line lasts for multiple frames and everything. Uh, we're just going to stick with one frame because we don't want it to stick around for very long. So we're going to click on our timeline here and go over to our first frame. And then we're just going to kind of start drawing on our footage, right? Just like a simple big line. And then we're just going to start animating it down here. If you're huge into drawing, this is like right up your alley. Uh, if you're not the greatest at drawing, it's just a couple of lines. Hopefully you can do it pretty easily. Uh, I'm currently using a mouse, so if my lines don't quite match up perfectly, uh, it's okay. Don't, uh, don't yell at me about it. So we're going to go ahead and finish this one. We're just going to go around the little support beam, support bar for the wheel here, and stuff like that. And then go to the next frame. So now, as you can see, when we go backward, there's this little line that comes around here, just like so, right? So when you go in, it kind of goes like that. Not bad. I'm going to go through and do it for the rest of our video on the rest of this first clip, and then a second clip, and I'll show you guys what it looks like in the end. Alright, so I'm back. I just finished making our lines for our footage. We're going to go ahead and play this. As you can see, the line kind of comes around here, and then it kind of comes around here, goes by the uh, pedal, and then up and around the gears, and then out the kickstand. So we're going to go ahead and render this. Uh, if you forgot how to render, we'll go through it again just really quickly. Go down to your Deliver tab. It's a little rocket ship, right? You're going to go up here, you're going to name it, choose a location. I always do the uh, H.264 Master, and then I change mine to MP4, so do that. And then you're going to come over here and hit Start Render. Alright, so as you can see, our little line goes around the bike and then around the wheel and around the uh, pedal and everything, kind of like that. It adds a little bit of flair. This is a very bright video, so maybe white wasn't the best option to choose. Um, but as you can see, it works. And then I also have this other video here of my dog. It's a picture of my dog, actually, I took. And I just have a little line kind of going around her head. And then uh, at the end of it, there's a little firework that pops up and everything like that. So it's kind of cool. It adds a little bit of, you know, spice again to your videos. And kind of makes it look cool. All right, and if you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe down below. And leave a comment down below what you would use drawing for on your videos. Other than that, have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys next time. It's not a game, sir.